Olivia, you were home again today. I don't understand. You said you were working, but I think you're lying. Well, I work from home. Working from home means just a side job. Can you call that working? Are you contributing to my son? Aren't you just living in his house? These days, there are many companies that allow you to work from home. Everyone in my company basically works from home. Of course, I go out when I need to. Working from home is more economically friendly. What do you mean by economical? I'm not sure about that, but what I mean is you're not working nearly as much as you should be. Even today, you hardly did anything. Because you came on such short notice today. I cleared my work schedule for you. The fact that you can do that makes it sound more and more like a um, lie. Is that supposed to be a joke? That's not true. My job has flex time, so I have flexible hours. You're trying to deceive me again with the words that I don't understand. Are you making fun of me because I'm old? Of course not. I'm running out of patience with you. Huh? Aren't you grateful to Sean for letting you live in such a nice place? Sean told me about you. That you do very little housework. He said he cooks the food himself. He cried out to me that he wanted to eat my food. Is that what he told you? I'm basically the one who does the cooking. If I can't, Sean makes it himself. Sometimes I work later than he does. How could such a side job affect your husband's life? You're not aware that he's allowing you to live in such a nice house. I am not aware that I am being allowed to live in the house. Because it's my house. And I'm clearly doing more housework than Sean. Even today, it was Sean who made me tea. Shouldn't it usually be you, the wife? He just wants to look good in front of you. I don't blame him because I think we all do. He didn't even know where the tea bags were. Proof that he doesn't need to do this on a regular basis. I can't believe it. That's how you make fun of your husband? You're a parasite, a disgusting human being. I am not mocking him, and I'm not a parasite. You're like a parasite. You say you live with your husband and work from home. Stop calling me a parasite. All of this is not true. I need to have a little discussion with Sean. I'll talk to him about how to get you out of that house. Do you want to get rid of me? <laughs> That's impossible. But it seems to be true that Chan is unhappy with me. I will talk to him as well. Now, if you'll excuse me. Did you tell your mother today that I don't do any housework? Why did you say that? That's a complete lie. I didn't mean to lie to her. I indeed want to eat my mom's cooking. There's nothing wrong with saying that. I think it's a completely different story. That you want to eat your mother's cooking, and me not cooking. Well, my mom seems to have a lot of complaints about you. Huh? It's better to go along with her story. It would be a pain in the ass to get into trouble with her. Thanks to you, she's being nasty to me. You don't think about me at all. That's not true. Mom is always right. Maybe you should listen to her. Listen, you got yourself fired from your job. Did you tell your mother that you're working the night shift now? You don't have to tell her those things. Aren't those things more important? Your mother asked me. She said, why am I not working and staying home being lazy during the weekdays? Doesn't she notice that her son is not working during the day? You don't have to talk so nastily about me. I say, tell her the truth. You're so annoying. It's just like my mom said. You are a woman who can't even do her housework properly, and all you do is complain. Are you serious? She's right. Mom did it all without complaining. That's because she is your mother, and your mother has been a housewife all her life. Yeah, but... But you're at home too, just like her. I understand you very well. That's enough. I understand what you're really thinking. I'll talk to you tomorrow when you get back. Sean and I have had a discussion. We're going to live together. Oh, I see. That might be a good idea. Oh, please. You've been living off my son's money. I don't approve of this marriage. 
You don't approve? Isn't it too late? <laughs> We've been married for almost a year. I'm telling you to get a divorce. I will not have a woman in my family who takes advantage of my son. Because I've decided to move in with him, I don't need you anymore. He's not letting me live here. I knew from the very beginning that you were some kind of strange woman. I can't believe you were a liar and a parasite. Poor Sean. Let me tell you, I have never lied to you. I'm not a parasite. That's just your lack of awareness. How dare you seduce and marry my son and then brazenly move into his house? I don't approve of any of this. Get a divorce and get out of his house. Sure, we'll get a divorce then. Huh? Get out of the house too. I will not leave the house, but I agree to a divorce. I discussed this with Sean the other day, and we have made the divorce papers. I have the divorce papers in front of me as we speak. Do that already. You deserve to be on the street. You've been taking advantage of my son all this time. But this house is mine, and he's the one who is moving out. Huh? It's great that you live with him, but he can't live in this house. I will return your son to your home. Enjoy living together. You and your son seem to get along well. What a joke you are. Just because you two are getting divorced doesn't mean he's giving you the house. That house is my son's house. So why do you assume that? This is my house. And the house was built specifically for me to use as my home office. The house is in my name and I'm the one paying the mortgage. What? No way. If you think I'm lying, let me show you the documents. Would you believe me if I showed you? Are you serious? I'm serious. I mean, it's the truth. How can you get a loan? Only people with decent jobs can get a loan. How can you when all you do is a side job at home? I've told you many times, this is not a side job. I run my own company from home. What? Running a company? You mean you're the president? Well, I guess you could say that. The fact is that I run a company. But it's like an online company where all employees work remotely. It's hard to explain. I don't understand. Are you the CEO? So you're saying that the house really doesn't belong to Sean? How many times do I have to tell you? And if anything, I don't think Sean could get a loan. What? What do you mean he can't get a loan? He's been working hard all along. He's an employee of a stable company. So he can easily get a loan. He quit that job quite some time ago. Huh? He told me he was going to get a new job. And then he left his job. He failed in the final interview with the company where he planned to work. He works the night shift at a factory now. Factory? Night shift? What? He hasn't been in this current position that long. And his income is a lot less than it used to be. So I think he's going to have a hard time getting a loan. Also, the stress drove him to drink. He seems to be in a lot of debt right now. You're kidding. My son. You're the one who did this to him. It's his own fault. Well, there's nothing more you can say to me. Your son will be kicked out of this house. He's going to have to move back to your house with debt as well. Good for you. Your favorite son will be back. Now you're happy, aren't you? I can't be happy. And I didn't know anything about it. It's completely unexpected. I really thought the house belonged to Sean. I can't believe it. That's too bad. This house is mine and you can't live here. You seem to want to live here though. I was wanting to divorce him, so thank you for that. What? You were wanting a divorce? Isn't it obvious? The truth is, it was clearly Sean who was the parasite. I'm also paying my own mortgage and living on my own. I had to do housework for him too. If I was busy with work, he complained that I didn't do the housework. And you were being nasty to me too, you know? Of course I wanted to leave him. That may be true, but... Why don't you and Sean make up? I'm sorry I said those things to you. Could you leave the past in the past? Huh? Are you kidding? 
It seems like it would be better for Sean to be married to you. You two should make up. Husbands and wives are supposed to support each other in life. I'll visit you there from time to time. No thanks. I've already filed for divorce. Huh? Since you're the one who suggested Sean get a divorce, I'm sure he thinks you're welcoming him to your home. Good for you. You and your son can live together again. Sean is in debt, isn't he? My house needs to be repaired soon to keep it livable. I thought I could live in your house, but I don't want to live with him if I can't live there. You are just as selfish as Sean. You guys are indeed mother and son. Pardon? Anyway, I'm done with you guys. I will send back your son to you. You can do the rest on your own. You'll never get to live in my house. Have fun with your debt-ridden, low-income, parasitic son. The mother-in-law, Susan, rushed to talk with Sean. Susan was devastated when she discovered that everything Olivia had said was true. Sean has also quit his night shift job in hopes of being taken care of by his parents. So moving back into his parents' home seemed to have resulted only in an increased burden on his parents. His parents are urging him to get a new job. Sean is just lazy at home, spoiled by his parents. His parents are already at a loss for what to do with him. Susan is now regretting everything, but it was too late. It's far too late. Chloe, I just got off work. You're off today, right? Yep. I'm off from all my part-time jobs today. I already made dinner, too. Thanks. Were you able to relax today? Yep. It's been a while since I've had a full day off. I was able to really sit back and relax. The day went by so quickly, though. I'm glad you were able to have time off. But are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you're off today, but you've been working almost every day recently, right? I'm wondering if you're overworking yourself. Aw, thank you for worrying about me. But I'm totally fine. Don't worry about me, Brian. You've been a stay-at-home wife since we got married, but you started working so much recently. I can't help but be worried about you. I guess, but I'm doing this all because I want to. Well, yeah, I understand that. But you don't need to work this much, right? We've been able to live comfortably with my paycheck. You don't need to overwork yourself, Chloe. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate you so much, Brian. We've been having a stable life because of how hard you work. Then there's no need for you to work so hard, is there? I can't keep letting you spoil me, though. We might decide to have kids, or you might get sick and not be able to work, you know? I mean, yeah, it's possible, but... Right? It'll be easier if I'm working when that happens, won't it? Plus, I want to start a savings account, too. Things will be easier for you if I'm working, right? I mean, having more savings is definitely a good thing. I control the finances and have money saved up right now. But it'd be a lot of help if you had savings, too. Of course. So honestly, don't worry about me. I just want to do what I can to support you as your wife. Okay? Yeah. I'm not going to go against you after all that convincing. I'm glad. Thank you. But I want you to be more careful about the way you're working now. If you keep working the way you are, you're going to get sick. I can't do anything about it right now. But once I get the hang of things, I'm planning to take on fewer shifts. So don't worry too much. Please do that. I'll feel so much better if you did. Oh, one other thing. I was going to ask you yesterday, but I forgot. Yeah? What's wrong? You know how you came home late last night? That's why I didn't get the chance to ask, but... What is that envelope addressed to you all about? There was a similar one delivered last month too, right? Oh, it's nothing. 
You know how I started working recently? So they've been sending me mandatory paperwork. I've just been receiving papers with instructions and those kinds of things. So don't worry about it too much. I see. Okay then. I'm almost home. I'll heat up dinner. Brian, sorry to bother you doing your work. I have something important to talk about with you. Respond to me when you have the time. George? Did something happen? I don't get text messages from you that often. Oh, uh, well, I knew that you had work today. I thought I'd be a bother if I called. Anyways, how's your work going? Is it going well? Yes, very well. Thanks for asking. Chloe's been supporting me a lot, too. I've been working much more productively compared to when I was single. Doing good, I see. I know this is awkward to ask, but you're not getting paid less, are you? Not really, no. In fact, I've gotten a raise this year. This is all thanks to Chloe. A pay raise. Then why are you guys in this kind of situation? Brian, do you even care about my daughter? What? What are you talking about? Stop acting clueless. My daughter came over here to ask us to lend her $10,000. How dare you not give her money to pay for living expenses? What? $10,000? Living expenses? I heard that she's struggling because you don't give her money for things around the house. That's why she's asking for us to pay for her living expenses. What the hell's going on? What do you mean? I have no idea what's going on either. What do you say? Are you going to act like you're innocent after making my daughter cry? I've been giving my wife $5,000 every month. I intended that money to include our living expenses. So I'm really not sure what you're talking about. $5,000? That much? Oh, I just remembered you work in finance. Yes, thankfully I have a fairly good job. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that my daughter's lying to me. I guess you're right. My daughter never contacted me before she got married to you. So I'm grateful for you in that sense. But this and that is a different story. It's hard not to trust my own daughter. I understand what you're saying, George. If you're worried, I can show you my bank statements. Because of my job, I've been controlling all our finances other than our living expenses. Well, if you're going to say all that, I believe you. I'm sorry for doubting you in the beginning. It's okay. Thank you for believing what I told you. Anyways, I'm more worried about my daughter. She lied to me so that she could borrow $10,000. She might be in a situation where she can't tell us what's going on. About that, there's something a little off about my wife recently. How so? She started working a bunch of different jobs recently. She also keeps getting letters from a lawyer. Is that true? Your daughter doesn't know of the fact that I'm aware that the envelopes are from a lawyer, though. But I do think it's weird she's keeping a secret from me, too. That's true. I understand. What are you going to do? I'll try talking to her about it. No matter the reason, $10,000 is a lot of money. It'll be difficult if we don't know the real reason for it. Yeah, I think it'll be better if I don't question her about it. Besides, if she gets suspicious, we might not be able to get anything out of her. I'll leave the rest up to you, Brian. Thank you so much. Brian, sorry I'm late. I'm heading home now. Did you eat already? If not, I can buy something on the way. It's fine, I ate already. Good job at work today. You too. Okay, maybe I'll stop by the store on my way home. Is there still food left at home? There's some pasta left over, but we're running low on sauce, so maybe you should get some on the way home. I'll do that then. Whew! I'm so tired from today, though. I'm so tired I might fall asleep right after I get home. Are you okay? I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty about your working schedule now, but 
Honestly, please be careful. I know, I know. I'm taking care of my physical health. Don't worry about me. But, like, what's the reason you're working so hard? Is there something you want to buy? You know I'll buy it for you if you tell me, right? I told you, it's for our future. It's not something you need to worry about, Brian. I mean, sure. That's fine. Anyways, you got another letter. Oh, really? I'll read it when I get home. You can just leave it somewhere. Sure, but why is the letter from a lawyer? Huh? Did you look inside? Without my permission? No, I didn't look inside. But I don't need to open the envelope to find out who sent it. Anyone would be curious if their wife was getting letters from a lawyer. Do you have some kind of problem telling me? Of course not. We're married. Right. So what's this about? Like I said earlier, I'm curious. It's really nothing. You know how I hit the Johnson's ledge with my car a while ago? Yeah. But hasn't that situation been settled already, right? We settled everything, but I still get notified about the reports and things like that. That envelope is probably something related to that. So you don't really have to worry about it. You should have told me that from the beginning then. You made me overthink it. Overthink what? Like whether you're hiding something from me, Chloe. It's not a very good feeling to doubt your own wife. Make sure you tell me if something happens from now on. Yeah, you're right. I'll do that from now on. It's a promise. Okay, I'm gonna go run a bath or something. Brian, what time are you coming home today? Dinner's already ready. You're already at home? Yup. It's rare that I'm home earlier than you. I see. I'm sorry. I don't think I can come home today. Huh? What's wrong? Is it work? No. I'm away seeing someone. I'm in a different state right now, so I'll probably have to spend the night out here. Out of state? Who are you seeing? Your ex-husband. Wh what are you saying? You're the only person I've married. I don't have an ex-husband. But he's right in front of me. Do you really think you can still lie in this situation? He's not with me right now, but... I even met your son. So you're really seeing him right now? I never would have thought that you had a son. Seems like he's already in preschool. Your ex-husband's raised him well. Oh. But why? How did you find out about my ex-husband? The envelope from the lawyer. Your ex-husband's name and address were written on it. Didn't I tell you not to look at it without my permission? Just because we're married doesn't mean you can just do things like that. Doesn't mean you can just do whatever either. I know that you lied to your father and borrowed $10,000 from him. That's... I had a complicated reason. I know that too. You never paid child support, did you? That's why your ex-husband was having trouble. Having trouble? There's no way that's true. He never said anything until now. That's because he was trying to put distance between you two since you had a new life. Then he should have kept doing that. He suddenly charged me with all the past payments and said that if I couldn't pay it, I'll be taken to court. Thanks to him, I'm in so much trouble right now. Well, of course. There's a reason for that, too. Did you even read the letter properly? I did. My son's sick, so he needs money, right? Then don't you understand? Your ex-husband didn't do anything wrong. So what, I have to give him money now? I'm living a happy life married to you now. But my own son is getting in the way of that. Getting in the way? He's your son. We got a divorce right after he was born, so he's like a stranger to me. So I borrowed $10,000 from my dad and started working to pay that money back. 
No one has any right to say anything about me. You did that because you didn't want to get taken to court. It wasn't out of love for your son. Who cares about that? Either way, I did what I needed to do. This is an issue between my ex-husband and I. It's not something you need to meddle in. Yeah, you're right. But I can't just ignore what happened. And I don't think I can continue to be married to you either. Why are you saying that? Is it because I used to be married? Or because I never told you that I had a kid? I'll apologize for all of that. I don't care about any of that. Besides, I don't think you were the only one at fault for your divorce. And your parental rights aren't any of my business. I have nothing to say if you both agree. Then what aren't you happy about? You said it yourself. That your son is getting in the way of your happiness. But it's the truth! You have no right to be a mother if you can say something like that so easily. Plus, you never paid child support until now. Even when you found out your son was sick, you're still acting like that. I don't think someone like that can be a good mother to a child. That's because we got divorced. You and I aren't divorced. So of course I'm going to do everything I can if we have a child together. Then you're basically saying that if we get divorced, you won't care about our child anymore either, right? That was just a way of phrasing things. Stop nitpicking the small details. No, this is the truth. If you really cared about your son, you could have told me the truth and asked me to help pay for your son's hospital bills. You didn't need to lie to your father either. If I did that, my whole life would have been messed up. You're right. That's why you didn't do it. You love yourself more than you could ever love your child. Basically, you don't care about what happens to your son, right? In the end, you showed your true colors. Why would you say it like that? You're being so awful. You're the one that's awful. This is all the consequence of all the bad actions that you've piled up. Give up and take in your new reality. Chloe and I officially got divorced. My father-in-law also found out about what Chloe had been doing and cut off his ties with her. Of course, he's making her pay back the $10,000. I'm charging her with alimony as well. As for Chloe's ex-husband, he was able to get the $10,000 in child support that Chloe never paid. With that, he was able to pay for his son's medical bills. Chloe was a terrible mother, and she only paid her ex-husband $10,000 to save herself. But thanks to that, Chloe's son was able to get the medical care he needed. So I don't think everything was bad in the end. It seems like her ex-husband is going to keep demanding child support from her, so she'll have to continue working. No matter how hard it gets, I want her to face the consequences of her actions and realize her past mistakes. 